dragon, a very famous name. I go back to my childhood. I remember the dragon uh, cassette deck. Um, it was a lusted after product. The dragon name's back, uh, but in a different form. So tell us about it. Yeah, so uh, by the way, I wanted a dragon one, but I couldn't afford it. So this project took us five years to come up with, and uh, it is basically as disruptive as any other dragon in the market. Uh, we've done something from a technical and mechanical point of view that's never been achieved, like 11.4.6. It renders uh, surround objects like AVR, the only one in the world that does that. Also has DTS X Pro, uh, massive beast in terms of power, and then it has four subwoofers, uh, and they're wireless, and then we also have some very, very unique features in our uh, Omnimotion surround speakers, including the rotating up firing, which will give you perfect height, doesn't matter what the room shape or your seating location is. You're very driven with this. What was it? What was the spark that said to you you had to produce this product? Uh, kind of like a personal dream and challenge because uh, there hasn't been a dragon since 1996, and I know that uh, I always wanted one myself, but I could never afford it. So what we want to do is to bring dragon into a much more attractive price point and allowing everybody to enjoy a 3D authentic Dolby Atmos or DTS X Pro experience. And what is it that makes Dragon different from everything else that's on the market? I mean, sound bars are, are to a penny at the moment. So what is it that makes your product special? I think it would be a crime to call this a sound bar because it's so much more, as you can see from some of the other reviews. Uh, from a channel configuration, it's untouchable, 11.4.6. Even an AVRs cannot match that. Uh, from a subwoofer point of view, it's got four subwoofers without taking up more space. Uh, this is going to have more space than the most demanding theater is looking for. And for the surround speakers, they're not the tiny ones. These are full-blown uh, AVR-type surround speakers that are wireless, powered, and have a firing driver built in. So looking at the system uh, in total, it, it is a wireless system, so there's no cables running around the room and so on. Uh, and many of these speaker enclosures have more than one driver built in. So what was the thinking behind that and the way that the, the system's configured? Uh, so all things equal, the more channels, the more immersive the surround is going to be. And we want to bring, you know, COVID kind of brought this all about in terms of people not being able to go to the theaters, not comfortable going to the theaters, but we want people to have absolute best sound. And that's why we put so many channels, so many speaker compartments, because no brand has ever done that. And this is kind of the philosophy of Dragon, which is to push every technical and mechanical boundary to the limit. Now, home theater, it's always either been uh, the legacy of a custom installer or somebody who's an enthusiast, knows what they're doing, knows how to wire a system and so on. From the outside, this looks like a complicated system. Is it easy to set up? Uh, one of our design pillars is that anyone or most people should be able to install this in 15 minutes. So all you have to do is to plug in five power cords, one ARC cable from the TV to the soundbar, and you're all set. And in terms of calibrating the system and getting the system up and running properly, what have you added to the system that make it easy? So there are two ways that you can calibrate it. Well, of course, you don't have to calibrate it. That's exactly what we did because there's a research saying that over 50% of the people who purchase AVR never calibrates the system. So we want to do just a regular demo. Uh, on the other hand, there is a full-blown AVR on-screen calibration. You can calibrate the distance uh, of the soundbar, the subwoofers, and the surround speakers individually. You can have test tones separately by channel. So it is, it's a very flexible setup. Uh, so obviously, it, AV Forums, we're a global uh, website, but very much UK-based. I know that my audience are going to be uh, itching to listen to this and maybe own this, but is it US only at the moment? It is US only in the moment, and then we do sell on eBay, and they have a global shipping program that ships to, I think, 64 different countries. You have to pay a little bit more, but trust me, it's well worth it. And do you have any plans to take this global at any point? Uh, probably want to focus on the U.S. market first because, uh, you know, have to, if we go into the U.K. market, we pretty much have to double the number of staff that we have for sales that we are totally uncertain of because uh, we build this product based on the iconic name of Dragon. We really never did any consumer research. 
we just build it from our gut and our intuition. And uh, once sales takes off, then we can talk about next steps. Well, I've got to say, I'm very impressed with what I've heard this afternoon. Thank you. So good luck with the product. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Thanks for coming. Thank you.